Okay, I just want to show you a really quick and easy and super cheap way to utilize your smartphone, in this case an Android, uh, with one of the uh, CW or oh, Morse Kia apps to quite literally key your transceiver. So, um, what I'm using is a photo sensitive relay. I got this for about $10 on eBay with free shipping. You can get them cheaper as well. This one is a 12 volt one. So, these two wires here are the 12 volt supply. It's got the little plug here, and that goes to the LDR, the photo sensor. So, just bear with me. I'll stop this. Just Okay, so I'll just stop that for now. So, it has its uh, LDR, little photo sensor. Okay. And it has its relay switch output. So it has a common and, and uh, two positives, I suppose you'd call it. <laughs> uh, so you've got your e so you have the option of, uh, you know, uh, normally open or normally closed. So it would depend on which way you wanted to operate this. Now, from here, I have it. It's just a, uh, I've, I've literally used just a headphone cable, uh, stereo headphone cable, straight into the Kia port. So I just cut it and uh, found which which of the two wire combinations suited the Kia input. And uh, so I've got it set up so that uh, when there's no not enough light, that it's not, uh, can, you know, keying up. Now, you could throw one wire across and have it the other way around. And then you could actually key with the shadow. So, <laughs> so you could have this out and literally um, shadow key. You could be like, duh, 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 duh. <laughs> okay. It has a, um, let me see, sensitivity adjustment here. So I've got it fairly low. Uh, so that general light isn't keying it, only the light, bright light from the flashlight. Um, so you can have it very sensitive, which you would have if you were going to shadow key, uh, if you'd have to reverse your um, selection on the uh, output though, to the radio. But uh, extremely simple, and I just thought it was really worth sharing that. So the great thing about using uh, an Android or another smartphone is because you don't have that limit then of the beacon text size. Um, you know, I have another module here. There's a VK that throws these together. I put it in a little box. It's a board that he sells, and um, you know, you connect your USB keyboard, 12 volt supply, and a, and you know, your port, you know, your jack plug to the Kia. With this one, you can type in real time, and it keys. You can also uh, save in macros. But even its longest macro for a beacon text isn't all that long. Whereas with a smartphone, a Morse Kia app, some of them will allow you to do extremely long. Uh, so for example, like, I'll just, um, I pasted in, I can, I typed in a, a different app and then copied and pasted. So there's a huge text body here. Not that you can see it's all of it there, but a huge text body. And also with the app here, you've got the option for loop. So, for example, with this huge text body, um, I'll just make sure I get this back in place. You have to make sure that it's appropriately seeing the light, depending on your sensitivity, because you don't want it sort of half keying and, you know, getting uh, being really untidy. But, uh, so this should be fine now. And I'll just hit the send button. There you go. So, she's sending. So yeah, I'll throw the links in the description. Um, oh, there is uh, another thing I should mention about this. Um, uh, with my Android at least, I don't know about the later models, uh, the screen times out after 10 minutes. That's the maximum you can set it to. So there was a problem where when the screen timed out, the app stopped. But to overcome that problem, you just install another app that you can uh, select it to not allow the screen to time out and that other app 
also allows you to choose when the screen times out. So you could say I want it to time out in 30 minutes or I want it to time out in six hours or, or 36 hours, which is also handy because you know when the screen times out, it stops the Morse app. And you, so that'd be a way of sort of pre-programming in a time for you before the uh, beacon ended if you wanted, for example. But yeah, I'll throw the links into those apps and also a link to one of these, but I'm sure there's many different ones available. I just thought I'd share that because it's a very simple way of uh, using your, oops, uh, using your Android as a uh, Kia. Actually, since we have flipped out of there, what I'll do is I will jump into eBay and I'll show you. Um, all right, there's one. So that's exactly the same. And um, see that one's like, yeah, 12.35 and free shipping. And there are others out there. So um, there's a different one, slightly different, but it'd be pretty much the same thing. That one's similar price really when you consider that it's got a shipping cost. But yeah, so there you go. Um, that's fantastic. I will um, throw the links to the apps in the description. 7.3 and thanks for watching.